Hi there, so um, I've got hold of this dash cam, or I call them a mirror cam, because it's a, basically um, a rear view mirror cam. And uh, it's got quite a few things on it. Now um, I'll, I'll put a little video at the top where I'm talking of what's actually in the box so you can see it getting unfolded. But this is it. Like I say, it's a mirror cam. So you, you fix it to your sensor um, rear view mirror. And on the back of it is the camera, which, which points to the front outside the car. And you've also got fixings there, which, which wraps around um, your rear view mirror. So I'll be fixing it up in a few minutes. And at the top of there, you've got your connections for the power and you've got your connections there for your rear view camera. And also, there's a bit where your micro SD card comes in. Now, it's, it's a nice, easy one to set up. You've also got an here, obviously, your power bit and the rear view camera. It's a nice little rear view camera. It's not too bulky. It's got um, suction pads on it and screws that you can fix it to the to back of the car, wherever you want. So I'll be fixing it up at the same time. So what I'm going to do now at this point is change the camera around, get it all quickly set up, and then I'll do some recording. So you can see there, that's where it is. I'm just going to fit it on there, and I'm going to have the straps going over the top. So I'll twist it down a little bit, and I'll put on the second setting, because that's a little bit tighter. And it's as quick as that. That says how quick it is setting the camera up on the front, so it's dead easy. Now, uh, connecting the power, I've already mentioned, it's straightforward, nothing too tricky. The power connects to the top of there, goes down, connects it in. So you can see at the moment, I've, I've already fitted the, the, the mirror camera to the rear view mirror, straps are on the top and bottom, and uh, the power supply has been connected to the, to the dash cam. And I'm going to just fit it in a bit more so it runs it down, runs it down the side and runs it towards the power point. So when I turn the engine on, I'll just, sorry, I'll just plug it in. When I turn the engine on, it'll come on. You can hear it coming on there and it, straight away it starts recording. Yeah, and I've set it for two minute segments, but you can record it in longer segments if you need to. So it's as easy as that one. All I'm going to do now is, is set up the uh, rear camera. A short snippet of the rear view camera which is fitted and we've got a bit of more recording it here the dash cam how it looks when it's when it's strapped to the rear view mirror which is quite neat it tucks itself in it's got a bit of a, um, a blue tint to the mirror and a gold trim going around it so it looks quite neat from from when you look at it as a, as a driver and if we look at the recording here this is the, the front camera and the rear one will come on in a few seconds the the front camera is recording in 1080p full HD, so it's quite a nice recording. It's one of them. It's one of them dash cams that's uh, not at the expensive range. It's retailing at 29.99 on Amazon, so it's pretty good value. I'll put a link at the bottom if anyone wants to look it up. So it's one of them dash cams that you can you can afford quite easy. And um, it has got quite a few other little extra things at the moment. I'm using the micro SD card, which has got first two gigabytes, which it supports. You can definitely use smaller ones if you want to. And the default um, recording is in two minute segments, which is what I've left it at. But you can certainly extend them to three or five minutes, depending on what you want to get out of it, really. So it's quite a clear one on a clear day. And uh, there'll be a, um, the nighttime one coming up in a, in a few minutes. A couple of other little things. If you do uh, want to uh, put on your computer, it records it in a JPEG or photo format. Um, it's quite easy to convert over, nothing too tricky. And um, the, the the nighttime vision you can see here, it's not the clearest nighttime vision, but uh, for the cost of the, the dash cam, it's pretty good value. Depends what you want to get. If you want to get really clear nighttime vision, then you have to pay a lot more, unfortunately. But on this one here, it's not a bad, not a bad price. And uh, like I say, I used it for about two or three days, and I found it was pretty easy to use. Nothing too tricky about using a dash cam, and um, overall, good value for money. Hope you like the dash cam, and um, feel free to click like, and if you're new to my channel, subscribe. Take care, safe driving.